Hello Virgo! Welcome to the next 30 days of your reading where I am hearing the words, oh happy days. Happy days are in root, but the way I'm getting this message, Virgo, is you are singing it or somebody singing it to you. You're being inspired or you are inspiring somebody else. This is a beautiful positive energy where a lot of you may not have been feeling this way for at least I'm seeing two dash six months. Two, it would be through all of the holiday season, but in the last half of, of 2022, you may have been feeling kind of um, um, repressed. I heard the word repressed, all right? Now, welcome to your reading. We're going to go in deep. We're going to look at you. We're going to look at a family and friends. We're going to look at career projects, hobbies, love at the end. We're going to pull a beyond card. So Virgo, this is a beautiful, a beautiful feeling. Now I've called in Archangel Michael. He is here with me. You may see him going across the screen. Uh, um, who knows? But one thing's for sure is I'm being told to say, if you've been going through a lot of hardship, if you've been feeling neglected and unwanted, if you've been feeling like the days are too intense. That intensity is going to lift. That feeling of being a part of a team, that feeling of getting back in the routine that you love so well is on the way. So, uh, you know, I couldn't, I, I mean, really, I couldn't ask for something more better for you guys to help inspire and grow you as a soul, as an individual, to get your inspirational self back up where it needs to be, because we have the two of pentacles going back and forth. You may have been doing this, all right, and this could be in any area of life, but we're talking about you in this portion of the reading. We're going back and forth. Yeah, happy days. Oh, yeah, why? Whatever. And some of you are going, no, don't do that. All right. Pay very close attention because you hold the power to turn this whole situation around. This energy shift, right, as Mercury has gone direct, is bringing in vitality, is going to restore the energy that's been pulling down actually since Scorpio season. All right. So that would have been, you know, in that time frame that I'm talking about, two to six months in that time frame. But this has a lot to do with your own surroundings, your own, uh, I'm hearing the word chaos, chaotic, chaotic work environment, but it's about you. It's about you growing, learning, gaining knowledge, feeling more centered and grounded. Everything that you've learned over the last six months is going to come into play. So if you've been working on um, growing spiritually, there it is. That's why that song is there. All right. If you've been learning how to grow and expand your consciousness, absolutely. And I'm seeing pentacles fall down. Boop, 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 boop. Some of you are going to take that and you're going to make money off of whatever it is that you learned. And it is going to be wonderful. Now you have the card of temperance and it does take a lot of patience. It takes a lot of patience to learn how to see beyond. Um, this is a lifetime of, of study for me. We're all born with it, but we forget it. We misuse it. We don't remember. We weren't taught. All of these different things come into play. So it takes a while to really grasp the whole concept of spirituality. Being open to allow this beautiful energy in based on our own feeling, our own thoughts within. You guys are just really going to expand. Now with temperance comes that beautiful beings of light and love like Archangel Michael. Those of you who love him, he is here right now with us and I'm so glad that he's here. And uh, I said this in the last video, but <laughs> he, um, he said, I never left you. Okay. Now it's very important that I communicate that and that's what I'm being guided to say is they don't leave us. We leave them. So if you felt like there was no uh, positive beings of light and love around you, no positive energy around you. Remember, you hold the power to turn that around because we're the ones that turn our back. We get faced with, you know, like me trying to, every time I turn around to start a new, this, I have a brand new website, brand new uh, business that I'm bringing out and it's amazing. You guys are going to love it. But I keep getting challenged with old stuff. It's like, nope, turn around, look at this. Nope, turn around, look at this. Where it, it's like, well, it's, this two of pentacles, right? And that's what you may be going through. I'm not a Virgo, okay? 
Um, but that's the similarity of, of what I'm trying to express here. So whatever you've been going through, it took a lot of patience. It took a, a divine timing is on your side. Absolutely, 100%. You are transforming everything around you. Whatever endings you went through, whatever closure you needed to do, you're wrapping that up, especially over this next 20, uh, 30 days. And I'm doing it at this time for a specific reason. I'll still do your monthlies. All right, but this reason, this particular time from January 20th through January, um, well, actually through January 23rd is uh, 4th, 24th, that is big. It's a big um, closing, tying it up, letting it go, throwing it in the trash, bringing out the new, nurturing. It's like this big shift, boom. And it happened because Mercury has gone direct. So that, that beautiful energy that makes us so worn out from Mercury going uh, uh, retrograde, everything feels backwards, time feels slow, everything slows down, we feel, I want to sleep, I don't want to do anything. That's exactly what it's meant to do. It's meant for us to close and, and let go of all of that stuff. And that's what a lot of you have done. So I'm hearing the words, well done, you guys. He's saying job well done, yay, he wants me to clap. And this is a beautiful turning point, a pivotal point for a lot of you right now. So that feeling of being organized is going to come back in. The balancing back and forth, going from one location to another, one job to another, especially those of you who have been helping somebody else out, that's getting ready to change. The transformation is already in route and you can't stop it. It's divine timing. This is like your wheel of fortune. This is like your destiny. We have this beautiful page of pentacles and the page of pentacles, you guys have something going on. Some of you, this will be a new opportunity and it does have to do with the certification, with the learning, the growing, whatever you were taught, you're going to produce an income. You're going to produce help to other people. So this may be opening up something where you don't make money, but you are definitely going to be a contributor to a public speaker. You're going to be a, a, a public figure. You're going to be an influencer. You're going to help people, inspire them to keep going. So I love that in this reading because that, that's really what's coming through in this reading. Now, clearly it's not going to be for all of you, but it could possibly be for each and every one of you, most definitely. So I'm going to pull one more card and we have the card of Four of Swords. And this is letting go of everything. Now, I don't know why I was guided to pull one more for you until I see it. And that Four of Swords is saying ending, rejuvenation. They want me to reiterate for those of you, because Virgos, you go nonstop. Go, 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 go. You're organized. Everything's like boop, 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 boop. And then boom, it came to a, a halt. And that halt may have thrown you into that two of pentacles, thrown you out of balance where you needed to go back and figure out what do I need to do. Find yourself looking on the internet or going through your email, clearing out your email, and then you see one and say, oh, I never finished that, right? Um, for me, I had a certification that I had started months ago and I forgot. <laughs> I got so busy, I forgot. So I went and I finished it and I got that that particular uh, certificate. So you may have been going through the same thing, but let's go ahead and take a look at family, friends, and what's going on there. Now, some of you may have been balancing or juggling back and forth when it comes to family and friends and feeling like things aren't changing. But yet we have this beautiful change getting ready to come. Look, we have the Two of Pentacles again. It's not by chance. By the way, uh, I do see two is your number. Two is your number over this next time frame. So it's, it's like closing and starting, which would be 11. And one plus one is two. So some of you are going to see it in 11s. You're going to see the one, one, one. But for the majority of you, it's two because you're moving into something better. It's like you already started something. You already started working on it by the certification, by finding the research that you needed to do. You've already started, especially when it comes to family. So you've already started to balance things out. You, I feel for some of you, you've been helping them out financially, maybe putting a roof over their head, paying for their food, their groceries. And it's finally going to come back to you, all right? It's going to, it's getting ready to come back, whoever you're living with. They're going to have something come in 
where they can contribute back or you're just going to end it and say that's it i'm done all right you, you got to go out on your own now but there is going to be a change that takes place in this family dynamic particularly in that uh area for you guys now we have the star card i mean the ace of pentacles look at the stars in the middle that's why i said the star card this is beautiful this is a brand new beginning filled with security exactly the way virgo likes it all right this isn't about you being frigid or or um unable to do things different no no you've grown so it's like saying i know what direction i want to go i've done everything i can do to get there i'm going to stay positive in my mind because happy days are in route and no that ace of pentacles is coming in this is a payout this is big this is a big family reunion you and somebody you love that may have been on the outs are coming back into place and i really like that for you guys um because i feel it's been a, a quite some time and i think i've even mentioned this in, in prior readings for you guys where there's been like a a, a separation okay and and that's definitely going to play in for those of you where you felt that energy it takes time and again you know you have temperance in your in your in your messages and temperance means it's divine timing not our timing so because we hear the message it can be delayed but there you go there's the eight of wands back and forth positive communication you're going to communicate with this person you're actually going to be able to uh rebuild this now i don't feel that it's going to just take off right where it was it, it may for some of you uh hopefully not because remember there was a dis disconnect so you don't want it to be identical you want it to be better you want it to be more improved and, and a better version of them a better version of you but I will tell you what I am getting is there's going to be something revealed, some kind of truth, some kind of um, uh, secret. I hear the word secret. It's going to be revealed that they um, they themselves didn't know was taking place, whoever this particular individual was. Now, that might be you. That might be your husband or your partner's friend or your sister's, um, you know, in-laws, right? Whoever we're talking about affects your life. We have the Empress, and the Empress is saying, this is nurturing, this is you, baby, this is you, Virgo, no matter who you are. Over these next 30 days, from the 20th of January through the 20th of February, you're going to feel more grounded, more stronger than you ever knew. If this is something that you're going to go into a family situation, I feel with work, we're going to look at work in a minute, it's going to bring in security. This is secure. This is leadership. You're going to become the leader of the whole unit. So if you've been feeling out of whack when it comes to your family environment, that is getting ready to change. A lot of changes are coming in. They're going to be very, very, very positive. Now we're looking at career finance projects, whatever it is that you've been focusing your energy and attention on. And we have the card of judgment. All right. So if you remember a few moments ago, I was saying that something you started a while back ago, you may have been going through your email, trying to clean it out, trying to fill up this emptiness that you were going through and stay organized through all of the stuff, you know, because time sped up. It just did. And it will continue to speed up. And uh, we're going to wind up feeling like we only have 10 months in a year instead of 12. Whatever you found, this particular time is for you to revamp it, to revise it, to redo it, to transform it into something better, particularly when it comes to your career or project, and some of you it will be your education. So if you stop going to school, you may actually start going back to school, and I do feel for some of you, it, it, school has a lot to do with you. Um, this might be going back to get your master's degree, getting an online certification. And I do feel it's online versus in person. Um, and some of you, uh, you may be having a lot of sinus stuff, a lot of allergies. I felt that before I got on. I was even going to say it before, but it went away. But now it's back again. So if you've been stuffy, okay, if you've been stuffy, stuffing your email, stuffing something in a box, stuffing from you know having you need to go to the doctor all right 
whatever it is, you need to get that taken care of. All right. This is going to change and it's going to help bring in that nine of cups energy for you. Now, again, uh, going back to this, I do see somebody is going back to school. Some of you are. Please leave a comment. We want to know how that resonates with you because I see it like a master's degree, especially for those of you in nursing. Okay, nursing, medical, um, hip. Okay, it might be a HIPAA certification for some of you, uh, and it could very well be hypnosis um, underneath the psychology umbrella itself where you're actually going to a traditional school. So this is beautiful, beautiful energy. You're completing something. You're pulling it out going, that, that didn't work, but I can do this, this, this. All right. So it's going to be really wonderful. It doesn't feel like art at all. It feels more about education. Now we have this beautiful Knight of Wands. This is an offer coming in. This is an opportunity coming in. You may have had a job offer. You may have had an opportunity come in in the past that it didn't happen. They, with all the commotion that took place over the last several months, actually a couple of years, um, all of the changes, everything, people got disconnected from each other and they're coming back around. A lot of my original viewers were, were gone and now they're coming back around again. So we go through, <coughs> there it is, see, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Like you guys need, it, go to the doctor, all right? If you got sinuses, allergies, make sure you're taking good care of your health. Now, uh, I feel that this is something that was there and it's coming back around again. And it's something because you've grown, you're going to want to accept this offer. Now, it, it may be the type of job for some of you where you really have to look at how often they're filling the position. Okay. For a lot of you, I feel it's brand new. It wasn't quite ready. Something was off. They pulled it back. They put it back out there. No, 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 no. And pulled it back. And now it's ready. And they just jumped the gun a little bit too fast. Or maybe testing the water to see who would apply, right? I feel you're going to apply for this opportunity, this position. And uh, it is going to make you feel great. It is going to make you feel amazing. That's going to be your nine of cups. Now, when it comes to investing, all right, I feel some of you are investing in something that has to do with medical devices, that has to do with boxes. It looks like boxes that uh, connect to the internet, obviously, um, but they're 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 decent sized boxes. So this may have something to do with uh, pain relief. Now, I have a company that is an affiliate of mine where they have a device that hooks up. It's not that big, it's smaller, but it is for pain relief and it's amazing. And when you see my new website, you'll see it there. But uh, whatever that is, I feel that that's getting ready to come to fruition. So this might be your idea getting planted in the ground, bringing in that Ace of Pentacles, like everything's just gonna go boop, 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 boop. We have the Queen of Wands. Whatever you're doing over the next 30 days, make sure that you keep your confidence at a high level. You've been through a lot. You have ended things. You've cleared things out. You've removed toxicity. You've grown. You've redefined your own self, Virgo. So make sure that your confidence is showing at all times because your confidence is what's going to bring in the nine of cups your mind your body your soul everything about you it's like you're going to manifest this on your own maybe you'll have a little help all right but for most of you it's your thinking it's the way that you take action the way you do things is different than what it was before and it's going to be very very fruitful for you guys now we're going to take a look at couples and singles right now and at the end i will pull a beyond card for each and every one of you so Virgos who are in couples, I feel like your wish is to have the two of you back on the same page, have time with each other, have moments. I, I've seen somebody do crossword puzzles together. It looks like crossword puzzles, you know, <laughs> like one person's wearing glasses and uh, where you're, you're doing things together. Now that may be sitting in the same room again and you miss that, you long for that that by silent bonding that the two of you had 
And for others, it's like, I'm tired of sitting in this room, right? Whatever it is, you guys are going to revamp your entire relationship. Something great is on its way. You may have a lot of anxiety and fear when it comes to your relationship. Like, is anything going to ever change? And the answer is yes. Again, because you, your confidence, your wish is going to be granted because of all the work that you've done on you. So you very well know the transformation inside of you will actually help transform your partner if they are open to it. And if they're not, you're going to go and do your own thing. Uh, but I see it coming back together. I see two people sitting side by side. You know, I mean, I do. I see two people sitting side by side where you're rocking together. You guys are in sync with each other. You both rock this way and you both rock this way. That could be dancing or singing, oh, happy days. But it is going to be absolutely wonderful, you guys. Now, for those of you who are single, I feel you've been through a lot, all right? And you may be actually having some anxiety going, will I ever meet somebody? The answer is yes, you are going to meet somebody, but you are going to have to use your in, uh, wisdom. So what I'm seeing is you have never met this person before. You've never met them, but yet you're going to know something about them is different. Something's unique about them. They're going to have a sparkle in their eye. They're going to have a... a, a, a Dougley do right. Uh, that's a cartoon. I don't. I hope I can say that. Um, it's it's a sparkle on the teeth that that just goes ding. <laughs> you know, <laughs> where it's like brilliant. It's beautiful. Um, there's something about them that's going to capture your attention. Use your wisdom when it comes to this person. The hermit is about going within and that's what you've done. You've gone within, you've worked on you, you've worked on relationships. You don't want toxic relationships anymore. I'm done with toxicity. No more dysfunctional relationships. I don't want somebody who wants a, a mother or a father, a parent. I want somebody who wants a partner. So you're looking for a real partnership and this person is going to be a real partnership. But again, you've never met them. This is somebody brand new. So you're going to need to tap into your inner wisdom and and know whether they are the right one for you or not obviously some of them won't be but it's going to be more of like a, a testing you uh to overcome your fear of being intimate again so you are getting ready to meet somebody and it is going to be very fun very exciting and oh happy days we're going to pull a card for each and every one of you, help you move beyond. Even if you've already reached a level of success, this is that moment for you to move into a higher level, no matter where you're at in life. So the card that um, I created for you, collective consciousness, all right? The universal energy is saying divine connection. And that's what I mean. The divine connection, the divine connection within us, the divine connection of the logical side of us, the emotional side of us, the balance that you've been going through or imbalance in order to manifest, in order to get those wishes granted and work with the universal energy. We have to be in the center and that's where you're headed. All right. So this is moving into a higher consciousness to see how you can expand and grow your business. Moving into a higher level of, to see how you can find a job that fits you and you fit the job like this rather than trying to fight it. You know, you don't want to just take something, a job offer or a loan or a grant. You don't want to just take something to have it. You want to make sure it's right for you so that there is no repercussion in six months or a year from now or even in 30 days. This is going to be a big moment for you to completely transform and put the transformational energy into good use over these next 30 days. And it's going to grow and grow and grow between now and the month of June. I'm seeing the month of June. So you guys, this is an incredible uh, next 30 days for you. I hope this helps and I wish you so much love and light.